Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Dave's, what's the late? I keep hearing stuff about AEW and TV <laughs> deals, and it seems like this is we're back again to where people think that uh, there's something, at least in principle. I've seen that tweet from BJ Bethel. Uh, what have you heard? I mean, I've heard nothing. I've heard. I mean, I've heard they're close. I've heard no confirmation the deal's done. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. I mean, we know we, we've known they've been close for for weeks. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I mean, as far as like uh, in principle, close um, in the red zone, it's all kind of the same thing. It's like mm -hmm. it's close. It's not finalized. Um, it, you know, I mean, I can't confirm it being finalized, but I can't say it's not finalized, too. I mean, we're I know it wasn't finalized yesterday. I mean, I know that, but that doesn't, you know, I mean, it, if it happens any day now, wouldn't surprise me. But I've been, I'd say that for the last. I don't know, six, six weeks or longer that it could happen any day. I mean, once we, once we got through, um, late June, I thought, okay, it's, it could happen any minute now, you know, and it, it's, it hasn't happened yet. And when it happens, um, no, well, I mean, you know, the, the, the idea that the, the deals, the idea that there would be a deal at the end has been expected all along. It's really been, I would say since, it became clear that that raw was not going to WBD. If you remember when that was, so that's like um, November of last year. I think mm -hmm. all that went down November, December. Once that um, December, actually, I think, but once that happened, I thought it was pretty much a given that um, they were going to renew because I mean, what's the alternative? I know they wanted to keep wrestling and the alternative was TNA and that's a laughable alternative, you know, to, to AEW for, for WBD purposes. So it was kind of like they're going to renew. Um, it's just a question. Are they going to? Are going? They're going to go for a renewal. The question is, will will can he get a better offer elsewhere? Um, and will they? You know, how much money will they give? Because obviously, this deal is, you know, when AEW was when AEW was formed. Um, you know, and when when Tony Khan and Kevin Riley had that meeting in 2018, this was the proving point. You know, it's like the first deal was. You know, at the time, the first deal was actually pretty substantial. But as time went on and expenses got really heavy and things like that, it wasn't as um, substantial as it uh, it looked to be when it was first signed in January uh, 2020. Um, but you know, they've they've had all these years to cancel. You know, for all these people who thought that like, oh, their ratings are terrible, whatever, and they never did. And they got that big increase last year. You know, and the, and the Collision Show. So clearly. WBD is is happy with it. Um, it's just a question of like how happy. What does that mean monetarily? And um, you know where does the company stand financially coming out of this? And uh, you know like where does Ring of Honor stand? How many hours of TV? You know, there's all these things streaming. There's all these things that need to be worked out. And um, we'll see how they all get worked out. By the way, WBD and David Zaslov in particular are getting hammered by entertainment media right now. For for wanting to um um for, for wanting to consolidate. Well, just the fact that and and all, well, they just did a bunch of layoffs too. Their layoffs, their stock is down an incredible yeah. amount. He's down been a paid a tremendous amount of money to basically. Uh, lose this the stature of the company or not yeah. not the entire stature but they've they've lost quite a bit and yeah, just yeah, the yeah. the decisions that he's come you know there's the the creatives are really upset about him for taking tax write-offs instead of releasing things so there's that side of it there's and the, yeah they, if, they, if they, the they, money they've cut back on individual programming cnn ratings are are really bad they really are i mean like you know you know one of the things on on wednesday that nobody really brought up was that um, AW outdrew CNN on Wednesday night. And that's ridiculous. It was the Republican national convention and, and everything. It's like, yeah, Fox did giant, giant numbers and Fox, Fox beat AEW, but CNN absolutely. Like if it was four years ago, CNN would have killed AEW, you know, MSNBC might've too, probably would have too. But I mean, it's like when you have a big news day like that, CNN has become such a, you know, ratings afterthought. It's really sad when I look at the CNN ratings. Some of that is strategic, though, because they were heavy anti-Trump. 
and then mm-hmm. the directive changed for them yep. to be a little bit more in the middle and then it's just continued to to go downward as far as their their status in the, in, in the news industry. I mean, the, the the one that is the biggest ratings mover is the one that is the least in the middle uh, of all of them, which is uh, Fox News. Yeah. Um. So the eight the rating that that came out on Wednesday, as I'm watching this match, and I, I was kind of wondering what you were thinking. Once they hit about 25 minutes, I started to think. Oh, they're going to go for the first hour of the show because this is an experiment to see if they can keep the audience from going down, 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 down every segment. Like the, the we're, we're trying to see if we can keep the consistency of the rating. And once I figured that well, out. Well, I mean, once once um, they knew they were going against the convention, they didn't know that they were going against an NBA game, I mean, WNBA game where, where somebody was going to set the all time assist record. They didn't know mm-hmm. that going in, but they did know going in that they were going against a WNBA game that was going to do a really big number. So they knew it was tough and it was the 250th and they're down to the wire. I mean, it's like one of the reasons that these shows have been loaded up the last few weeks, you know, whether. You know, you go like, well, they got five years of data. Why does it matter one week? And it's like, right. well, all I could say is, is that <laughs> to Tony Khan, these these shows, as you know, you know, as June came in, you know, and and things were getting down to the wire, every show was very, very important. And and you know, look, the shows, um, you know, I mean, like the June nineteenth show. I mean, they loaded that up and they did the bad number because they didn't have a lead in and, and you know, whatever. And then they had a lot of, you know, they had a lot of issues, which they knew about ahead of time, um, you know, between, you know, Copa America and, um, you know, just other competition. And and this was this, you know, Wednesday was no different. Um, but but I mean, they, they, you know, they didn't have as tough a competition as WWE had on Monday and Tuesday, but they had still had tough competition. And most of the stuff like, you know, the numbers has been been steady. You know, it's been up a little down a little. It's in that two two to two four range. Um, no matter what he's put in there. And this one did better. There's a couple of reasons. I mean, it, it, um, I mean, it, the, the male numbers were not, um, they were up, but they weren't up that much. You know, it wasn't really the, the big difference was women 35 to 49, which were way, way, way up. That was the difference in the so ratings. This, this is and, kind of related to my hypothesis because what it and, seems like is me thinking that, oh, this long match is going to kind of stabilize the, the viewership. But based on what you wrote, it anyway, seems that, like that, that was that was I mean, I'm sure that's the the, the hope was that you, uh, you know, do that. And then then people pick up for Okada and Swerve and Okada and Swerve didn't, you know, knock him dead at all. You know, maybe Okada and Swerve should have also been a 60 minute match. Um, I don't know. If you <laughs> two of them in one show. Okay. But, but here's the other thing is, but I, uh, I think would as, you would... as, 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 as much as anything, I think that he, I think that he wanted to put on a classic match that people would be talking about. So he'd been in there and it's like this match that, um, you know, he's built up for several weeks and, Maybe the idea is a match that will be so good that people will want to see the rematch. If, in fact, the rematch is happening at Wembley. I mean, there's a lot of different things on why, you know, I mean, I mean, he did he did it for ratings. I mean, that's the reason. Yeah. But it's like you don't do stuff just for ratings. You know, it's got to be part of a long term thing. And, you know, I wanted that belt on MJF, you know, get the belt off Will, um, you know, for for whatever reason. Maybe he's got another direction for Will. I'm sure he does. It's not, you know, it's not the end for Will. Will's going to be world champion someday for sure. Um, so, I mean, it's just a, a part of the, you know, a, you know, various different storylines that he's all working on. Um, but he thought that the idea obviously was uh, let's do this thing. Let's tell everyone we're doing a 60 minute draw and then we'll do a pinfall at the end. And, um, you know, it's a rare thing, but promoters have done that in the past. You know, I mean, um, you know, Bill Watts used to love to do that. I, I just remember when um, DiBiase and Orndorff, who were were, were awesome wrestlers, and um, you know, I think Bill, Bill he may have done it with DiBiase and Terry Gordy too. But I remember DiBiase and Orndorff because DiBiase even told me the story that um, it was hell out there because Bill thought that what I'm going to do is is everyone's going to think you guys are going to do a, a 60 minute draw, and then like at 50 58 minutes we do a pin, so that way 
whenever we start doing 60 minute draws, they're not going to just assume we're doing 60 minute draws. That was Watts's mentality on this. I don't know if this is Tony's mentality on this, um, you know, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a long way to go. But I mean, essentially, I think that the idea was, is that like, we're looking for an idea to do rate, you know, to, to draw ratings and, and, you know, the, in this day and age, will a long match work? And we don't know. I mean, we only got the one with um, FTR and, and uh, Juice and Jay White um, as like the one, you know, on television. I think NXT did the Iron Man match. Um, but that's an, that's a different thing. Iron Man match, you know, you're pretty much telling people to tune out in the middle segments, which happened. This one, you know, you don't know when the finish is coming. I think that's the idea. It's like, you know, hey, if it looks like it's going 30, uh, you don't know when the finish is coming. You know, it may the finish may come at 35. It may come at 45. It may come at 55. Okay, here's a question, though. Now that that has worked in this specific match, in this specific instance, those specific two wrestlers, do you expect Blood and Guts to actually open the show, knowing that that's a long match just by the rules, or do they put it back in in the main event segment? I would like to see. I mean, I don't know if they could stretch it out as long as, as, as that match or that you need to, but I'd be interested to see if, you know, what would Blood and Guts do to, to hold that that rating for uh, as long as possible in the opening few segments? I mean, they may, or they may start it at like, you know, uh, five minutes to the hour and uh, make you think that they're going to do a really long match and maybe, you know, I mean, they're, you know, the, the whole nature of Blood and Guts has to be somewhat long anyway. So, um, but I mean, it, 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 the, the, the positive is, is that there was nothing there. There was nothing at all. There was no evidence at all that long matches, people have no attention span and long matches will not work on television. And, and some people say that. And, you know, it, it has to be the right one, obviously. If you put like two mid-card guys in that situation, it won't work. But um, in this situation, it worked. So that's, uh, you know, it's just live and learn. I mean, but again, that doesn't mean it's going to work another time, but it, it, uh, it does mean don't be scared. You know, and and I mean, and and, and open. You know, if you want to do it again, it's not something to be scared about. If this thing had failed in that situation, you'd never do it again, or or not for a long time. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do: Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.